Good evening, Philippines. From Pag-asa Weather and Flood Forecasting Center, here's what you need to know about the weather. A low-pressure area remains inside the country's boundary. It was last spotted at 1,000 kilometers east of Surigao City, Surigao del Norte. Meanwhile, Hangi Amihan, or the northeast monsoon, is now dominant in extreme northern Luzon. These are winds coming from Siberia or mainland China that brings cloudy skies and light rains. In the next hours, cloudy skies with light rains will be experienced over the provinces of Batanes and Ilocos Norte, Cagayan, and Apayao. Partly cloudy to cloudy skies are expected over the rest of the country, but still with chances of isolated rain showers or thunderstorms, mostly over Mindanao. For our sea condition, gale warning is up over the seaboards of Batanes group of islands. Fishing boats and other small sea crafts are advised not to venture out into the sea, while larger vessels are alerted against big waves. At this point, let's check the weather condition for the next three days. For the City of Pines, expect good weather condition for tomorrow until Friday, still with chances of light rains. Rainy weather condition will prevail on Saturday. For us here in Metro Manila, expect good weather condition tomorrow, but light rains will prevail on Friday and Saturday. Moving on to Cebu, temperature will reach after 24 and 31 degrees Celsius. Let's check for the Durian capital of the Philippines. Good weather condition awaits on the next three days, but rains and thunderstorms are still possible mostly in the latter part of the day. And for Zamboanga City, expect the same weather condition like what the Davao City will experience for the next three days. Don't go away, astronomical data coming up after a short break. Air 21 Online Booking Book, pay, ship! www.onlinebooking.air21.com.ph The first complete online platform for shipment booking, payment, and package pickup and delivery in selected areas in the Philippines. Another innovation by Air 21. Sagot ko, padala mo! Are you fond of taking pictures of the moon? Tonight, expect to see a waxing gibbous moon. This phase of the moon comes between 1 to 2 weeks after the new moon. This phase is easy to see during noon and sunset because large fraction of the moon's day side is facing our way. For those who plan to have their morning bike ride, expect the sun to rise tomorrow at 5.55 in the morning while it will set at 5.25 in the afternoon. That's the latest weather information. For more updates, follow us in our social media accounts and like us on Facebook. Don't forget to catch our program daily tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. only here on People's Television. I'm Minnie Suntayas. Good evening.